<laughs> yo, yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the show, and today is a very special coffee with G. Boom. It's the second respawn event of 2020, which is my opportunity to engage directly with my patrons with exclusive feedback, votes, questions, and a raffle to win a new game. And let's get that joke. <laughs> And big thanks to all the patrons that participated in the survey this time around. I got some killer feedback from you guys that I can't wait to cover. Mm, yes. <laughs> so cheers to you guys. Mm. And today, we are drinking a dark roast by a company called Vienna Street, which is absolutely delish. And we got a lot to cover today, yo, so let's jump right in. And the first thing that I asked you guys about was swag. That's right, y'all, I'm getting some merch and I'm so excited about this. First of all, if you are a $10 Primark patron, every year you get a free piece of Gurm's Garage swag. So I can't wait to hook you guys up with that. I appreciate your support so much and and I wanna make sure that I give back to you guys, give you some wearables, get you some gear. Of course, if you're not a Primark patron, you're still gonna get the opportunity to purchase the swag. So I'm bringing in a bunch of inventory so that all y'all can get hooked up. And I'm gonna put the results up behind me. So let's check out what you guys put in the ground and what you voted as the winner. And let's check these bitches off one by one. And the first to go is the scarf and cowl with zero votes. Wait a second. Zero votes. <laughs> it's all good, y'all. Ain't nobody wears scarves and cows, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh... Next up is the hoodie. Only one vote. You're gone. Next up is the patch. Two votes. Peace, bitch. Next is the beanie. Two votes. You're gone. Hat. Gone. Three votes. Oh. 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 The hat. Oh. I wanted a hat. Oh, next up is the sticker. Three votes, you're gone. Next up is the shirt. Five votes, gone. And the winner. The coffee mug. <laughs> That's right. The coffee mug got the highest votes, y'all. So I'm going to be making a custom Germs Garage coffee mug for you guys. I can't wait to hook it up. Mm. Yo, this is gonna be so kick ass. I can't wait. I'm gonna be putting some logos together and finding a supplier that I can get some cool mugs from because you gotta have a boosty mug, y'all. You always see my mugs. I always have some badass coffee mugs. I have a killer collection. You gotta drink your Joe in style. Yo, thank you guys for your participation. And I know there was a lot of things on the list and if there's something that you really wanted that I ain't gonna be doing right now, it's all good, don't worry. Over time, I'm gonna be producing all this stuff. So eventually I will have a full catalog of merchandise that I can sell you guys and give away. So don't worry, it's coming. And next question was what old or already released co-op game would you guys like me to see? Now I'm gonna put all the results in the back. Boom! And yo, the number one voted game was Divinity Original Sin 2. Ah, oh, just an absolutely brilliant RPG game. So that is going in the queue, you guys. It's a really long game and it's going to take me a while to beat. Uh, I am on a playthrough right now with some of my homies, but it's going to take a while for me to finish the game. It is a really long campaign. I think it's like probably between 70 and 100 hours, depending on all the missions that you do. So glad to see all those votes come through and I can't wait to hook you guys up with that review. That's gonna be so fun. I already have some awesome ideas for the intro that are gonna be hilarious and just a good time. Again, thank you for the votes, you guys. Divinity Original Sin 2 review is in the queue. And it is Q&A time, y'all. I asked everybody to hook me up with 
anything they'd like to know either about me or Gurm's Garage, and I got some awesome questions from y'all, so let's jump in. Question number one came from two patrons actually, so thank you, Nolivan and Hawkeye for the question, and they asked, take us behind the scenes with Gurm's Garage. And I thought about this question and decided I'm gonna do a full Coffee with G where I take you guys on a tour. But to answer your question in a little bit more detail, I do work from home and I basically have two main spaces that I work in. The garage where I do all my filming with the sets that I use for my intros and scoring and most of my green screen work and the office where I film these Coffee with G's at my workstation where I record all of my game content and I have another workstation where I do all my post work editing and rendering and posting stuff like that we have a small house too yo it was built in 1927 and was originally a church <laughs> if you can believe it it's got a crazy backstory but it's super cool and uh i'll give you guys a tour on a, a upcoming coffee with g question number two came from akash who asked my thoughts on single player versus multiplayer and co-op games and you know, there's a sweet spot in my heart for single player games. Some of the most amazing experiences that I've ever had have been in single player games. And I think that, you know, the special thing about playing solo is you get the opportunity to really become immersed and engaged in a game's world without any other influence. Multiplayer and co-op games, on the other hand, are incredible because you can have a shared experience. And I love nothing more than playing co-op games with my homies. You know, first of all, it's relationship building time to kick it with my crew and my boys and, you know, just hang out together and do something. But under the format of a game, one thing I love so much is having to overcome something in a game and achieve something together. Like, I really like struggling in games with my buddies and, you know, finally getting past that boss or finally beating that level. It's such a good feeling to do that together. Uh, you know, it's playing a game and uh, doing that together is a damn good time. So I think, you know, there's really important aspects of both that I appreciate. <laughs> And I love all aspects of that in my gaming life. Question number three came from Devastator who asked, what game have I reviewed that I've played the longest? And I actually, <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed to say it, but I think PUBG is you know, the game I've spent the most time playing that I've reviewed. Now, I haven't at all reviewed my favorite games or the games I've spent the most time in. Out of all the ones that I've reviewed, yes, <sighs> PUBG uh, takes the throne on that one. <laughs> Question four came from King Pickles who asked, what is my favorite gaming accessory? And I kind of struggled with this one a little bit because there's a couple items that I have really unique relationships with. But what I landed on was my headphones because yo, an amazing pair of headphones goes so far in, you know, impacting your experience. I've got a really good set of headphones and I've got some extra pairs around based on what I'm doing. So whether I want open back or closed back or something that has a more natural sound versus something that's really bassy. So, you know, being able to swap headphones out, being able to just have something high quality that's really gonna allow you to hear what the game wants you to hear. I really appreciate audio, and uh, so I'm gonna give it to the headphones. Question five came from Opus who asked, what is a recent game that I absolutely loved but that I haven't reviewed? <laughs> okay, okay, so this wasn't actually um, a recent game, um, kinda recent, but I'd have to say Titanfall 2. And if you guys have never played Titanfall 2, you need to go buy it and play it right now. The single player campaign is freaking lit. The story's good, the gameplay's good, the graphics are badass, it's fun, it's emotional, it's super sci-fi, it's a good shooter. I mean, it is just a kick-ass game. So I never reviewed that one, and when I look back and think like, oh, what would a cool game be to review? I often think about Titanfall 2 just because you could tell that that game was just a labor of love from those developers. I was just talking about that game with somebody this morning. So yeah, 
Definitely Titanfall 2. Question six comes from Spark who asked, where do I see the channel going over the long term? And they said they want to feel really involved. And you know, right now the focus is really just on me growing the channel. That's priority one. And uh, when it becomes more financially viable, what I want to do is just really expand my engagement with you guys. Right now it's it's pretty limited. Like I've tried a little bit of streaming, but that's such a commitment and that takes so much focus. So I'm not doing that, but eventually what I'd like to do is do more gameplay videos, be engaged with you guys, play games with you, create a discord that you can hop onto with me where we've got scheduled events where we can play a game. Or you know, you can even hear my thoughts on a game that I'm playing in real time before I review it. You know, those are some of the ideas that I have um, just to bring you guys into my world a little bit more and have a good time together by actually doing stuff more real time. So that's one of my ideas. I also have a few ideas around how I can do more kind of um, opinion pieces on you know gaming topics. If you guys remember the late great Total Biscuit, who actually was a big influencer. Uh, for me in terms of getting into YouTube. I used to love his content. And I used to love some of just the long-winded rants he would do talking about a particular topic, whether it was a game or something in the gaming industry. I wanna do stuff like that as well. So yeah, those are some of my ideas. If you guys have ideas on how you would like to engage with me or how you would feel more a part of the process and my content going forward, please leave a comment below and let me know because I would love to rap with you about it. I wanna hear from you guys and give back for all your support. So thanks for the question. Question number seven comes from Mega Hellstrike who asked, what are the careers I've had before getting into YouTube? And most recently I worked for a company called Loud Audio which owns several different audio brands in the music industry. And I was there for 13 years, y'all, and climbed the ladder quite a bit during my time. So what I started out doing isn't even close to what I ended doing. But for at least half the time I was there, I was doing program management where I led engineering teams in the development of new products. So everything from mixers, studio monitors, headphones, in-ear monitors, and loudspeakers. By the time I left, I was leading the acoustic engineering team, so any of their products that had speakers in it, we were designing and developing for new products. While I was there, I learned and grew so much and really started to understand what's needed, what it takes, and how to run a business. And at the end of the day, it gave me the skills and vision to know that I could step out and start my own business doing Germs Garage. Before all that, I had several different jobs that honestly, I never really took seriously as a career. They all resided under the umbrella of me being a musician. I was a vocalist in a couple metal bands for about 15 to 20 years and got into music right when I got out of high school. So I didn't go straight to university. I went straight into the rehearsal studio and got serious about becoming a musician and trying to make that a full-time career. So between high school and working for Mackie, I was everything from a cook, a machinist, a construction worker, a painter, and a maintenance guy that did plumbing, electrical, and all that. And at the end of the day, I'm somebody that wants to continuously be challenged and continue to grow. So I'm really grateful for all the different jobs that I've had and all the different challenges I've taken on. And I'm so excited, more excited than I've ever been to take on the project of growing my own business now with Germs Garage. The last thing I wanna share that's tied to all that is when I was in high school, I really wanted to be an actor. I was super into acting, drama, and theater, which eventually led me to get into video production and film, which I learned a ton about and loved doing. 
It got to the point where I was winning competitions against other high school students and their videos, and even winning grants for some of the effects and just cool shit that I was doing. So there's definitely some history of me being in front of the camera from when I was a kid that totally influenced me to do what I'm doing now. And uh, I am so excited to have that circle complete. The last and a final question comes from Tango who asked, what co-op games can we look forward to? And without a doubt, yo, Dying Light 2. The game has been delayed, but yo, Dying Light 1 was an amazing parkour zombie slasher. It was co-op or, you know, you could play it solo as well. It was just a phenomenal game with a really cool story. It was very campy and, and goofy at times, but it was also just fun. And, uh, and the world was so big and how you could kill zombies and the weapons that you could build was just, you know, it was really expansive. So uh, I can't wait to see what they do for Dying Light 2. And uh, if, you're, if you're looking for a new co-op game to keep an eye out for, that one for sure has got to be on your radar because it is gonna be the shit. Well, I hope so. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's it. Thank you for all of the awesome questions. Oh my gosh, I've got new ideas for Coffee with G, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. I would love to do that more often and uh, just give you guys the opportunity to get to know me a little bit better and to share some things about myself and Groom's Garage. So thank you. Last up, y'all, we are gonna raffle for a free game. So this is how it works. If you are a $5 Dark Angel patron, you get the opportunity to win a free game of your choice that is an old game. And by old, that means not a $60 brand new game. It's either gotta be on sale or it's gotta be reduced in price some. If you are a $10 Primark patron, you get to win a free game of your choice. It can be a game that hasn't come out yet. It can be a game that's out and is still full price. It's yours. If you win, it's yours. <laughs> All right, y'all, here we go. <laughs> Congratulations, Jeff. You just won yourself a new game. So I'm gonna reach out to you via Patreon and we will work out how to get you the cash for your new game. So thank you so much for your support. And everybody, thank you so much, all my patrons. Y'all, you are amazing. And I could not be doing this without you guys. Thank you so much, it means the world to me. All right, that's it everybody. Thank you for joining me today. I had a kick-ass time, I hope you did too. Before we go, let's kill this Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Thank you guys so much, and we will be meeting for the third Respawn event of 2020 in three months. So. If you have any questions or you want to give me any other feedback, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you guys. And y'all know how we do. I will see you on the next Gurns Garage. GG.